Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, I have a haul of quite a few random things that I have found over the last couple of weeks. So I have a couple random like clothing things to share with you, things that I am loving. Um, my body has changed quite a bit postpartum. I know a lot of you like are like, you don't even look like you had a baby, but um, high rise stuff really hides a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, I fit in absolutely none of my pants anymore. Like I can't get my old jeans on to even save my life. So I found like some really good like staple sweatpants and like some good semi-flattering yoga pants style things. Um, some random Christmas things, some Christmas things that I got for Claire. Um, so I figured I would share them with you. Nothing is thrifted or from an antique store. Unfortunately, I have not been able to get to one of those. I'm really hoping this week I can get out to an antique store because I want to see if I can find um, another vintage Santa Blow mold. Um, or a vintage like nostalgic Christmas tree, like those light up ones. If I end up going out with Claire one day this week to look for one, I will film it. We'll do a little shop with me and we'll see what we end up finding. But the antique store that I wanna get to is far away and with a soon to be what? She'll be nine weeks this week, 10 weeks. She just turned two months on the 15th. I can't do the math right now. Um, but yeah, it's not always easy getting out of the house and like going far. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys all of the random goodies that I have found over the last couple of weeks. And I will leave as many links as I can in the description down below, especially for some of these clothing items. They're like really nice pieces that like for one example, I'm, I'm looking at these Old Navy joggers that I got. These are so nice. And the set is like, you still feel put together even though you're in sweatpants. Um, so there are these, I think they're the dynamic fleece is what they're called. They're a jogger and they are just, I already wore them, they're a little bit wrinkly but they come in all different colors and they are high rise. They are just so flattering and so comfortable. Um, they come in like a loose, like flared sweatpant as well. And then um, they have all these different matching tops. You can get like a cropped um, like half zip. They have a full zip. They have like a hoodie. There's just so many different options and colors that you can choose from. Um, but this is just such a nice set to wear with like sneakers and you still feel like put together, you know? Um, so I will link that down below. This is so comfortable and I purchased it when it was 40% off. Old Navy is like, I love Old Navy. They have such good sales, such good deals on things that are like, they look high quality, but you can get them at such an affordable price. So I got that at Old Navy and then, well, I ordered that online. And then I also ordered this for Nick. Um, he loves Old Navy as well because he is six foot five and clothing is hard for tall people, especially like 100% cotton stuff does not, you can't dry it. And like, we just, we love Old Navy because you can buy XL talls in a lot of their clothing, which is so helpful. So he got this like Sherpa lined flannel jacket. This is so nice, looks so high end. And it's just like a really nice um, flannel pattern. This was also 40% off. So I was, he saw this in store and then I said, we should probably order the tall so that it fits better. So as soon as I saw the 40% off, I was like, do you want me to buy that? And he was like, yes, please. So that'll be a nice staple for the upcoming cold season in Jersey. So we got that. And then I placed a pretty big order online from American Eagle. I 
love American Eagle. I've loved American Eagle since I was a teen. I just have this like laundry basket full of my collected items. Let's see. So I don't have the black one, but I also ordered a black one because I brought it upstairs yesterday to try it on. This is a um, airy. All of the stuff that I ordered was airy except for the sock. I know the socks are airy as well. What would you call this? Like a jumpsuit kind of? It's like a one piece with like leggings, but it's like a whole body, like a, I'll add a picture of like the model, what it is, but I love these. Um, this really sucks me in nice postpartum in my belly area because I did have a C-section, so my belly changed quite a bit. Um, but I like wearing these. I have yet to wear them, but I have my black one upstairs. So I got black and then this really pretty brown color. Um, but I like this to just like throw a cardigan right over it or like a flannel or a Sherpa jacket. You don't have to like pair a pair of pants with a shirt and then find a jacket. Like this is just all one piece they throw a jacket over top. So I got it in this brown and in um, a black color. And then I tried these leggings on in the store at Aerie before I purchased four pairs of them. But these fit me really well, super comfortable, high rise, and they're flared. And I like to wear these kind of flared pants with like my shorter Uggs or like Converse. So um, I'll pull these out of the bag and show you the different colors and put the model up as well so you can see what they look like. Cause I am not doing a whole fashion show for you guys, sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry if the lighting changed. It's getting dark so early now. Um, but like I said, I will put the picture of the model, like how these pants fit so that you guys can see but they are by Airy, and they have this like really cute uh, crossover waist. They're high rise and then they flare on the bottom. So cute. You can even wear these with like gym sneakers as well. So I got them in the blue and they're just so soft and stretchy and comfy. I got blue. I got that same brown that I got in the like one piece jumpsuit. So I got brown. I got this really pretty like forest green. And then I got them in black as well. And um, they are pricey, don't get me wrong. They were 55, but they were like 40% off then it was an extra 10% off if you are an American Eagle credit card holder, which I have been for years. The perks are just worth it. And then I had a 20% off and then I had a $60 reward. So I got so much stuff for like $150. Um, I got the two jumpsuits, the four pairs of pants, and then two pairs of socks. I love their socks. So I got these like soft, cozy, wintry socks. Got that pair. And then I got this striped pair as well. Super cute. So yeah, 150 bucks for all of that stuff. Mind you, the full price for one of these jumpsuits is $88. So I think I did pretty good for getting eight pieces of clothing from Aerie. So super happy with those finds. <clears throat> so Nick and I went to the mall last weekend um, and by this mall is a NFL pro shop and we are right near Philly. So everything in there is Eagles. So. We got a couple of things at the Eagles Pro Shop. Um, Nick picked out this Christmas ornament. It's a Eagles helmet. So we got that, that was eight bucks. 
And then I have been looking for years for an Eagles hat that I liked. There's tons of them, but I just don't always love like the winter hats. And like, I like the old school bird, which is this one. Um, so I've just always struggled to find a winter hat that I'm like, yeah, I'm willing to spend money on that because I just don't love most of them. But I saw this, well, actually Nick saw this and he was like, what about this one? And I'm obsessed with this. I think this is super cute. Um, and I just love the old school bird. I don't love the, this eagle as much, that one. So very happy that all of the, there's a lot of stuff with the old school bird nowadays. So this will be super cute for winter. It gets so cold here in Jersey. So this will definitely go to good use. I love it. Very cute. So we got that and then we couldn't go there without getting Claire a little Eagles hat. This isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen. She has a little Eagles hat and Eagles gloves. <gasps> so cute. So we picked that up for her as well. This will probably fit her big old head right now anyway. So that is what we got at the pro shop. Put that off to the side. Um, when we went out that day, we got a whole big bag of goodies. We bought stuff in store at Old Navy as well. Let's see. Um, actually, we went to Dick's Sporting Goods and I found these incredible sweatpants from Nike. They were a little pricey because it's always pricey at Dick's because everything's full price and like the brand new merchandise that comes out. But like I said, I'm struggling with clothes postpartum. So if I can find like things that are cute looking and fit me really well, I'm buying them. So these are Nike's oversized fit high rise sweatpants. And I put these on in the store and Nick and I were both like, these fit great. Like we, he liked them too. He was like, you're buying them. <laughs> so they're just really nice simple sweatpants but I love that they're high rise and just like pulled me in really nice um Phil is climbing in my paper bag right now get out get no dude so um I got them in a green pair and this like basic cream pair as well I'll try to put a picture of the model on the screen as well um just like scrunchy bottom and just to pair these with sneakers when I'm taking Claire out, going out to the grocery store or lounging around the house. We love that. Just nice to have like nice sweatpants too. Even though they're like loungy pants, I just feel better when they're like nice. Can you get out of my bag? Huh. I must have thrown this in my bag when I was cleaning out my car and grabbing everything. We went to the Cape May Zoo. If I remember, I'll put in some pictures of us all at the zoo. Um, we went there the other day when it was warm out. So much fun. Took Claire for the first time. She slept the whole time, but it was still very cute for us. I cannot, I don't know what, what this is called. Uniquilo. It's like this this store. I don't know. It's at the Cherry Hill Mall in, um, hey, Nikki. You want to come show Claire to everybody? <laughs> we just got back from lunch with our friends, so she's in her little full outfit. <laughs> Say hey, everyone. I got pumpkins and full leaves on my pants. What are you doing? Did you see this that your mom and dad got you? <sighs> So nice. She looks like a little grandma in this uh -huh. sweater. Hey, I gotta get changed. I just slammed four ounces in the bottle. Oh, good girl. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know how to pronounce this store, but it's in the Cherry Hill Mall. We were walking by and I was like, oh my gosh, I screenshotted 
this um, like fashion Instagram blogger. She had shared these crossbody bags and it looked so cute on her. And um, I was like, I wanna go in there and check them out. So we went in and I ended up buying two of them. And I'm going to, Bryce is fired up today. We just got home from lunch. So he is um, extremely happy that we're home and prancing around the house with his new Santa Claus toy that we got him. <laughs> um, but so she shared this bag and I currently have that like Lululemon crossbody belt bag that everybody on the planet has. And I like it, but as a mom, like I need to carry around like my full wallet now. Um, like I always need my health insurance cards and like I just carry a full wallet around now. Before I would just carry like my license and my debit card in my Lulu bag with my phone. But um, I needed a bigger bag basically. And I can't carry around a purse with a baby because I got my diaper bag. So this is like such a perfect size belt bag. Um, and then I wear mine like everybody does, like across the back here. I'll just show you. I wear mine like this like everybody has been. I don't know who started this trend, but I love wearing my bags like this. I probably will never carry a regular purse ever again. Um, hold on. I carry my bags like this and I can fit my full wallet in here. So I got this really cute brown color and then I got it in black as well. They're only $19.90. And then it was on sale for $14.90 when I was in the store. So I will link these. They're so cute. I really love the material of them. I don't know if you can like tell. Maybe on this one it'll be better. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a really good material. Fits so much more than those stinking little Lulu bags. Um, so I bought two of them for basically less than the Lulu bag costs. And I'm very happy with my purchase. So I will link them if you're interested. Super cute. Then we went to Old Navy. I ended up getting this adorable little Sherpa jacket. I bought this in a medium and I just went through my freaking fall winter bin and I have a button up one in the same exact color so now I'm like do I really need this zip up but I do like the zip up I like the bottom of it like how it's scrunchy like that this would be cute like over my jumpsuit or like with a white tee and my high-rise sweatpants like this would be such a cute fit so I'll probably keep this really soft and comfy so I got that in store at Old Navy. This was 40% off as well. I'm running out of room. And then I got some stuff for the baby. Oh, and Nick got some undies. Oh, my Cole, my old Navy, my Cole's cash, my old Navy cash. I need to keep this. Starts December 2nd. It's good for Christmas gifts. Um, Nick got some new undies. I'm sure he'll, he'll love me sharing his underwear on YouTube. Um, some chili peppers, just some two plain gray ones, and then some French fries. <laughs> really, whatever pattern they have, we just grab because it's hard to find his size at like the Old Navy, like in the Old Navy stores. So got him a couple XLs of those. He loves them. They're like, he says, very comfortable so then I got Claire a couple things because like I said it was 40% off the whole store and their clothes are already super affordable like this set is $22 and then 40 off so it's this little shirt and pants like can you just die with the little ruffles on the ends I can't so it's like light pink and soft and ribbed so I figured this would be really cute going into like the winter season and then I grabbed her a bunch of colors of these um, onesies. They're with the two-way zipper and Claire is a tall girl. She doesn't fit in Carter's onesies because they're like 
I want to say 100% cotton. I don't know. They don't have any stretch to them. So these Old Navy ones have like such a good stretch to them. Um, she is in like the 97th percentile for her height or something. She's tall. Nick and I are both tall humans. So we expected that. But Old Navy onesies fit her super well. So I picked up three of these. Um, they're $12.99 and then 40% off. So we got a brown... I never really care what color onesies she wears, you know, like, who cares? Little green one, and then this pretty red one for the Christmas season. So, got her those three, and that was all I got, I think, when we went shopping that day. So, I have just a couple other random things to show you. This week, we're going to do a My First Thanksgiving Craft. So I got this cute little plaque at Michael's, just a little wooden plaque. Um, I got her washable paint and this will come in handy for like all of the seasons coming up and like whatever, if I wanna like paint her handprint or whatever, cause this washes off really easy. Um, so I grabbed this and then I only needed two eyes, but I grabbed, they didn't have like just a smaller pack. So I grabbed a whole bunch of mixed sizes of these eyeballs and we're gonna do her handprint as a turkey on this plaque and put like my first Thanksgiving on it so I can keep that forever. We have that. And then I went to Target and they were running like 25% off of a toy or a book and I got her uh, two books for Christmas like to wrap and put under the tree from Santa so I got her this Disney's 100 years of wonder storybook collection has like all of these stories in one collection um and I think I paid like 12 bucks for this after the sale so really good really good deal and then this book is just so stinking cute it was $8.99 and I'm gonna wrap this and put it under the tree as well but if you have like a little one, a little girl, and you want to give her give her a gift, go into Target and read this book. I was like, oh my God, my soul. So I'm going to wrap that and put that under the tree from Santa as well. This one we already are keeping out on my little book rack in the sitting room because we're obsessed with the Grinch. I already tried to read her like five pages of it, but She's two months old. She's like, what the hell is going on? Um, <laughs> but we picked this up at Target a couple weeks ago, actually. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Such a classic. I could watch the Grinch probably like every week for the rest of my life and never get bored with it. And I can also recite like every single line. So watching it with me is loads of fun, you know. So we got that. Couple other random things. I got us a new tree topper. We both wanted like a light up tree topper, but the last one that we got was like, I didn't like the colors of it. It was like bright white LED. It was just like tacky looking and it kind of drove me nuts. This is like such a nice, nice soft white. I plugged it in already, so the box is a little janky. But um, this is from Target, just a really pretty um, simple star. And this will go on our tree this year. Before we used this last year when we didn't have a light up one, I just used this like wicker star and it's just not as fun. Like I wanna light up tree topper. So this is really pretty and I'm excited to use that this year. Nick is like obsessed with Christmas. We both love Christmas, but he like really loves Christmas and decorating and all of that stuff. So he's really excited about our new light up tree topper. And then keeping in the Christmas spirit, I knew if I sent this to Nick, he was gonna want it as well. So he convinced me to buy it. It was a little pricey at Marshall's. It was $81, but this is a piece that is so like it's just one of those nostalgic pieces that I know that I will put out for years and years. And it almost reminds me of a decoration that my mom had when we were growing up. And I can still remember that to this day. So I'm hoping that like one day when my kids look back at like 
like Christmas and all of that stuff in our house, they'll remember this piece because it is just so incredible. So, so this is the piece. Maybe I should flip you around. I don't know. I'm going to try to hold it up. It is this Santa and it's like a big piece, but it's like perfect for the center of like your dining room table. Um, we're going to put it on our TV stand. It fits perfectly, but I'm going to flip you around to show you all of the detail. It's this Santa painting a train. Hold on. So it is this Santa painting a toy train and it has like all these pretty details around it, a teddy bear, a train, this beautiful tree, just such, such a beautiful like nostalgic piece of Christmas decor. And here is the best part. So you can either plug it in or use batteries and it plays music. It lights up and plays music, and this train goes around and around. It plays eight different songs. Hold on. So it, so it plays eight different songs, and then if you don't want it to play music, but just have the lights on and the train going around, it um, plays it without the music, which is so incredible. But I can just see my kids like, of course, flipping the switch on and off, on and off, and playing the music and watching the train go around for years and years to come. Like, I know when I was a kid, we had this lighthouse toy with Santa going up the lighthouse, and the on button was the little snowball on the hill, and I used to play with it all the time and turn it on and listen to the music and watch the reindeer go around. So, I think that this will be in our family for a long, long time. I love this thing. I wish I could link it for you guys, but I can't because it was from Marshalls. But if you're interested, maybe you can try to find it online or go to your Marshalls. This is what the bottom tag. Oh, sugar. No, I forget. There was a tag on it. I'll try to see if I can find it. There was a little tag around here when I bought it of the brand. So yeah, that was like my epic find of the month. I was so excited to find that. And I was like $81, but I sent it to Nick. And like I said, he loves Christmas. He was like, we need that. You have to buy that. So very excited about that find. And then the last thing I have to show you is not really that fun. I'll insert a little picture of Claire in this. Um, we have an Uppa Baby stroller and this is the infant snug seat that goes in the like regular toddler seat, but this fits in there so that you can put them in as an infant um, and they don't have to be in the bassinet or the car seat and then attached to the stroller. They can go in the toddler seat. Um, so I picked that up actually on Facebook Marketplace. It's $50 on Amazon and I got it for 20 or $25 on Facebook Marketplace and it looks brand new. Cannot recommend finding like secondhand baby stuff on Facebook Marketplace enough. I love, love looking on there and finding like affordable toys, like almost in brand new condition toys and stuff like that for the baby. So um, yeah, I purchased that and I just installed it the other day and we went for a walk and she fell asleep in it. It was really cute. Um, but I like having that instead of always like putting her in her bassinet. Like she doesn't always want to lay down and I don't want to always like put her in her car seat just to attach that to the stroller and go for a walk. So it's nice to have the little toddler seat and then the infant insert so that she can hang out in there when we go for walks around our neighborhood. But yeah, I think that is everything that I had to share with you. Very random haul of a lot of clothing items, but I was happy to find some things that fit me because when you're postpartum, you know. If you know, you know. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Check out the links in the description box down below. I'll link as much as I can for you guys if you're interested in buying any of the things that you saw today. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.